Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the UFC card from uh, New Jersey for tomorrow evening from a betting perspective. And I am glad that I kind of waited because we've lost you know, two fights so far in the last couple of days. And I, I hope that we're just kind of locked in now with the 12 fights that we have. The other thing that's good about waiting until later is that, uh, again, I get to really gauge on public sentiment because, uh, as you guys know, um, uh, I like to fade those types of things. Um, I'd like to get a sense of where the of where the public uh, perception is, where the public bias is, and then uh, and then we try to go the other way. This is my the way I've been doing sports betting and and stock market analysis and things like that for a long time. And this is the best way I could think of to have some fun, uh, getting getting some edge without you know having the ego of someone that says, oh, well, I'm just that much smarter than everybody else that I can out analyze the millions of dollars bet on this stuff. I feel that those lines, especially with a 40 cent line, et cetera, is usually pretty efficient. The best thing you can do is try to at least gauge of where the psychology is coming from so you can at least infer what bets are gonna be overvalued versus what bets are gonna be undervalued. Um, okay, so, um, we're going to go fight by fight. And I do have a pretty good sense of where all the public is, is kind of flooded here. And we are going to make some assumptions that those, the public is usually wrong. Um, so let's just take a look. Uh, first fight, we have Joseph Holmes versus Claude Ribeiro. And, you know, I'll tell you, there's been a lot of Joseph Holmes steam been coming in. Um, you know, at the beginning of the week, it was just kind of like Joseph Holmes isn't very good, but, Claudio Ribeiro, you know, is, is probably going to just be a little bit too much pressure for him. But for some reason, during the course of the week, they've invented this narrative that Joseph Holmes is really, really good on the ground and that he's can be live for a submission. So uh, I don't know where this is coming from, but I know this is driving the lines. Um, so here's the things that you're not allowed to bet on. You cannot bet on Joseph Holmes by sub. That's for sure. You probably can't even bet on Joseph Holmes. So what we're going to be trying to do, we're going to take Ribeiro. But the one thing I am hearing is that Ribeiro is like very, very aggressive. And if he's going to win, it's probably going to be, you know, uh, inside the distance. So what we're going to do is fade that. And we're going to play Ribeiro by decision. So winning method, Ribeiro by decision. And boy, oh boy. Plus 800? Um, okay. Uh, so by the way, the rules are, um, as, as you guys know, is we're going to be betting the same amount on each of these fights. Again, I, I'm, you know, it's probably not the greatest money management tool in the world, but I'm going to be doing that anyway. And I am going to bet 180 per fight. Now I only have like 1800 in the account right now. So you'll have to trust me that I'm going to put, uh, the other 200, you know, the other couple hundred in to do it. Um, uh, but these are what we're going to be betting 180 on everything we come up with. And the first one is, uh, there it is, Ruby Hero by decision. Plus 800? It's kind of, I don't know, it seems crazy to me. But uh, no one's betting it. I guess that's why it's plus 800. Anyway, uh, moving on. Phil Hawes versus Ikram Aliaskarov. Um, So here's here's the here's the narrative. Phil Hawes has no chin. Okay. So Aliaskarov is always live for the KO. However... Bill Hawes does have that wrestling. Uh, so he probably will, I don't know, he could probably stuff takedowns or something like that. So I, I'm hearing a little bit of Phil Hawes, you know, kind of as a, as, a, as a live underdog. So he's probably poor value. So what we're going to play is we're going to take Alias Karov um, and we're going to fade the narrative that Hawes has great wrestling and can, you know, stop the takedowns and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Alias Karov by submission. So let's put that in. Alias Karov, winning method, by submission, plus 250. We'll do that for 180 as well. All right, uh, moving on. Braxton Smith against Parker Porter. This is, like, amazing. All right, so, so there's only... Two narratives. Number one is that Braxton Smith is going to knock Parker Porker's lights out in the first round. Or Parker Porter's going to survive the first round and get probably a second round sub, you know, with his with his ground and pound or with his takedown and stuff like that. 
So these are the, those are things you're not allowed to bet. You're not allowed to bet Braxton Smith. He's way too popular of an underdog. And you're not allowed to bet Parker Porter in like round two or three. So what you can do is either Parker Porter by decision or Parker Porter in round one. The other thing you could do is just play the fight goes over two and a half or the fight goes to the distance. So let's take a look at that. Fight props, fight goes a distance plus 450. Or we could go over one and a half for plus 155. Um. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Over one fifty five, over excuse me, over one point five rounds for one eighty. Okay. Uh, moving on. Verna Jandarova versus Marina Rodriguez. I mean, for someone who is an underdog, I mean. Verna is is basically viewed by the entire betting public as a total lock. The, the, the narrative that's being spun is that, well, Xanderoba has these takedowns, and once Marina gets taken down, she's just not getting up. As if as if Marina doesn't know that. You know, as if Marina's not going to plan for that. So basically, what you're not allowed to bet here, you can't bet Xanderoba. You can't certainly cannot bet Janderoba by sub. Like these are the two bets that just every Tom Dick and Harry are just piling on. What you can just do is bet Marina Rodriguez, which is what we're going to do here. So we're Marina Rodriguez, um, fight lines, uh, minus the 130 for one. Okay, uh Chaos Williams versus Rolando Bedoya. This one I kind of like. Um because it's basically you have this this style matchup where Bedoya has no take has no uh, uh, defense, and Chaos Williams is the quote worst matchup you can give him given his lack of defense. Once again, as if Bedoya is not going to account for that in his preparation, you know, as if Bedoya says, "Well, I'm just going to stick my face out and let this this guy just just, just rack me up." So what I'm going to probably do is just bet the over here. So. Over one and a half rounds, minus the 115. Now, if I really if I really want it to be a pain in the neck, I would take a look at the what about the uh to go to distance. Let's see. Fight goes to distance plus 215. There's nobody betting that. So we're gonna do that. Fight goes to distance plus 215. Okay, Kennedy and Jukwi versus Devin Clark. Um so Devin Clark apparently is going to is going to be able to clinch Kennedy and Jaquie, but eventually uh, Kennedy is going to take over and probably get a late round KO. At least that's the completely binary outcome that's been kind of spun here. So what you can't bet, unfortunately, is Devin Clark by decision, and you can't bet Kennedy and Shukwu by 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 KO. Those are both overvalued. So what you probably should have to do here is play and uh, Kennedy by decision so let's do that kennedy winning method by decision plus 275 for 180 all right uh drew dober versus matt frivola so here's the deal it's quote gonna be a war it's gonna be a war and matt frivola even though he has wrestling upside he's just so stupid he's just not gonna do it and he's just gonna get ko'd so if I really wanted to be a pain in the neck, I would play Frivola like by decision. You know what I mean? Have him go for the wrestling and get the win that way. Or I could be lower variance and just play the over. So let's just take a look and see if they're gonna what they're gonna entice me to do here. So Frivola versus Dober. If we just wanted to say, I don't know, what's the over here? Uh over one and a half minus 135. That's no fun. How about fight goes to de goes decision plus 200? Or, or how about Bravola by decision? It's only plus 450. No, I'm not. I mean, I'd rather play Bravola by KO here. I mean, he's more likely to get the KO than win by decision, honestly. So we're just, we'll just bet the fight to go the distance. Fight lines, um, fight props, fight goes the distance plus 200 for 180. 
Um, all right, moving on, we have Karan Gracie versus Charles Jordan. So Karan Gracie is off a three-year layoff, but he has incredible submission skills. And Charles Jordan tends to give up his, you know, to, to allow takedowns and can be submitted. So those are the two ways that Karan Gracie, what's going to happen? Either those are the two results. Either Karan Gracie decides to take him down, in which case he gets a submission, or Jordan just kind of just beats him up on the feet, probably gets a KO. So these are the things we can't bet. You can't bet Karan Gracie by submission. And you cannot bet Jordan probably by KO. But what you can do is bet one of them by decision. So what you have to think about is which is less likely to happen in the public's eye. Jordan by decision or Gracie by decision? I want to say it's kind of a toss-up. So let's just go the fight that goes to decision. How about that? So Gracie, Jordan, fight goes to decision. Uh, fight props plus 200. There's another one. All right. All right, uh, a couple of more. Evloev versus Diego Lopez. So, replacement fighter, and Evloev is going to be a minus 900. And there's only one way this fight goes, apparently, is that Evloev just controls him, takes him down, and gets either a third-round finish or a boring decision. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, no one is expecting him to finish in the first round. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, oh, they don't even have it yet. Ah, all right. You'll have to trust me. When this comes out, I'm probably going to end up betting Evloev in the first round. All right. Um, Jessica Andrade versus Juan Yan. Um, you're getting love on both sides of this. So there's no real way to get an edge on picking a, a side here. You're getting some people with Andrade. You're getting some people with Jan. Um, so actually, I think I'm going to end up doing the first thing that I haven't done. I think I'm going to pass on this one. Okay. Um, I know the rules are you're not supposed to pass, but I, I just think that this fight's covered. I think that the fight, line's efficient. I don't think there's any edge here. Everybody's analyzed this one to death, and there's no consensus. So I'm going to pass on that one, actually. Uh, Bilal Muhammad versus Gilbert Burns. Um, so apparently Bilal Muhammad has the better cardio. So the longer the fight goes, the better chance he has. Um, that's the, the narrative. But again, you know, I'm just not 100% convinced of that. You know, it's just because... That's one way the fight could go. It doesn't mean the only way that Muhammad can win. He could probably win. I mean, it's possible he can win by early KO. And likewise, if it does go the distance, I think it's possible Burns can win. So let's let's take a look at some of those odds. Burns by decision, for example, that's plus 300. I mean, let's do that. Burns to win by decision, plus 300. Uh, and then in the main event, we have Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo. So I, I'm I'm going to attempt to uh, to uh, I'm going to be I was almost going to be the sucker here um, and and just go take Cejudo because here here's the sucker analysis right. The Henry Cejudo play reminds me a lot of John Jones. You know, guys that that. People that had not got into MMA for the last couple of years only knew kind of by reputation. And these guys came in off three-year layoffs and people were just used to betting on the guys that have been popular nowadays. Like everybody like were convinced that Cyril gone because he had been fighting when John Jones was out is just kind of better somehow. And likewise here, I mean, Aljamain Sterling, people have been betting on him while Henry Segudo is out. So what I was going to say is that, well, you know, the same thing's going to happen. Segudo is going to come out there and get him. But Problem is, I've heard a little bit way too much talk um, about uh, how Aljamain Sterling is just kind of has one foot out the door and how uh, he's like kind of like thinking about retirement. I've heard a little bit too much about how Henry Cejudo is this mad genius who everybody kind of looks to for advice. 
I'm just a little bit sick of it. So we are going to take Aljamain Sterling. Question is, how? We really wanted to do this. We're going to, I mean, we're going to do what we always do. We're just going to pick some bomb thing. We're going to play him by submission in some rounds. What round is that going to be? Let's take a look. Well, by submission, that's a plus 400. Isn't that good enough? No, because it could be KO also if he starts ground and pounding him. So the idea is going to get him down and then ground and pound him or submit him. Can I go round prop? Sterling like round 5, 2800? I mean, well, let's put... Yeah, we got one more we're going to put in here. All right, let's just do it. Let's play. I really have a good mind to do this. But what we want, we're just going to play it by submission. So, so Sterling by submission for 180, and that will do it. And we actually do have enough to put all this in. So let's let's re, re, let's uh, review. Riviero by decision plus eight hundred. Ali Skaroff by submission plus uh, plus two fifty. Uh, Smith Porter over one point five plus one fifty five. Marina minus one thirty for one eighty. Uh, Chaos Williams go the distance plus two fifteen. And Chuiko runs by decision plus two seventy five. Dober for Vola by decision plus two hundred. I mean goes to the distance plus two hundred. Gracie Jer Jordan plus two hundred and Burns plus three hundred to win by decision. And Sterling plus 400 to win by submission. 10 bets, 180. Let's do it. Boom. That's it. Uh, good luck, everybody. And uh, catch you next week.